Hello YouTubers, I want to welcome you to another edition of Park and Bin Gear. And here, um, I hope you've been following the channel and subscribing because I often reference older videos. And lately, I've been going through all of my apps, trying them out, seeing which ones I should keep and which ones I should sell. Okay? And one amp that I ran across, uh, I had gotten a while ago, but I hadn't really played all that much. Um, and it's a really tiny uh, tube amp. Not quite as small as a tube head, but a tube combo amp. And really inexpensive as well. But it actually may be a great amp. I'm quite surprised by it, I have to say. Just the, the sound of it. I'm playing it now. And if you take a look at that, it's got those chicken knobs, whatever, chicken head, <laughs> or chicken neck, or I don't know, whatever. Anyway, there it is. It's got gain, tone, volume, reverb, nice pilot light there on off. It's just a nice looking amp. Very small, you know. Now it's not as small as the T5 right here. The little T5 5 watt head, which is awesome too. But here we're looking at the combo. Notice in the corner, built in turbo sound speaker. All right, it's got the little badge there, turbo sound. I mean, it's just sweet. And for the price, my goodness. 279 new. Wow. Now hold on. I know what you're thinking. Bugera, oh, that's Behringer. Can't be good. Those catch on fire and so on. Well. Those are kind of like online conspiracy theories, if you like. And they're not based in fact, in fact. Um, now, possibly the earliest versions, possibly, have problem. But with this little Bugera, you know, you have to remember, uh, Bugera is part of Behringer. And they have a huge plant in China. They even make their own components and so on, you know, which brings down the cost. And this little amp right here is about two seventy nine for a five watt tube amp with built in reverb, which you'll notice a lot of five watt amps don't have reverb. Period, which is sad, by the way. But that's just me. Okay. And it looks great as a turbo sound speaker built in. And it's basically, they call it a vintage look. Basically, it's no thrills. I mean, you've got a gain channel, a tone channel, a volume, 
So to me, it's a great looking app. But however, it has some things that you would normally not find in a tube amp, and that is on the back. It has a tube saver circuit. When your tube goes bad, that little circuit will tell you that it's time to change the tube. Power tube, that is. Which is pretty interesting in itself. And tube-wise, it doesn't have too many tubes to begin with. Um, however, it is a full-fledged tube amp. And to me, this is exactly the kind of sound I'm looking for. So this one is, is really no different, uh, except volume-wise. Now, I have to admit, for the sound that I like, right, I did have to uh, uh, be careful with the gain and tone settings. And in fact, for me, having the gain at 3 and the tone at 3, well, I've tried it at 5, 8, and 10, and 0, by the way, but my favorite is around 3. It gives me plenty of bottom end, and the highs are, are nice and sweet without being too shrill and that kind of thing. So if you get one of these, and you don't want to use my settings. Um, that's something that you really should try is the different gain settings. It will overdrive. You know, past five o'clock, it starts to overdrive. But at around three, it is crystal clear. And I mean, you can hear it here, even if I push it. stay clean right and that goes for a lot of the little, little heads as well that I've tried and that would drive me nuts so here is an amp that is so inexpensive with such a great sound and stays clean and the other thing of course as I mentioned the built-in reverb you know and the built-in reverb is not just the the reverb sound, 
but it also affects the presence of the amp. You know, whether the sound is in your face or a little bit further away. That's why I look for amps with built-in reverbs. Now besides that, right, besides this 5 watt capabilities, you can actually, on the back, turn down the wattage, if you can believe it. So I mean, if you're playing, you know, in the middle of the night or something, you don't want to bother someone, you would take it way down, or if you're in an apartment or that kind of thing. Um, and you would think you'd get a puny sound from a puny amp, but that's simply just not the case. You know, it can sound really great. And volume-wise, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Now I have the volume at five. which is plenty for me. Okay, just as an experiment, I'll turn up the volume. All right, now I've got the gain at three, but the volume is max. Let's try that. distort which I hate so uh, bringing the volume back down to five bring the volume back down to five the three you can expect a similar sound.
I've really been enjoying playing through the Bukera amps. Um, now, interestingly enough, this is the Bukera combo amp. And I find it a little bit louder, even though it's 5 watts, a little bit louder than the T5 Bugera head, which I had played with a, a orange cabinet. All right? Uh, doesn't sound quite as loud or maybe as big even than the Bugera, but it's a great sound as well. So, really, man, I just, wow, the sound is really spectacular, really, and for the price, I mean, come on, wow, like two seventy nine. that's a new price, keep in mind, so, I mean, they're, they're really a bargain, and the sound quality is just great. And I mean, it's quiet, you know, no hissing, no nothing, you know, and that's one thing, I tell you, the, the Fender Deluxe Reverb, it's a little noisy, quite frankly, you know, not super, but compared to the Bugera, you can't even tell it's on, but granted, that's at 5 watts. <laughs> But even the V22 combo, which is just a sensational amp, by the way. For clean sounds, you know, I'm trying to get kind of a clean sound, you know, they call the blackface, Fender-ish type clean. And it's kind of like that, but I'm not necessarily looking for a ton of sparkle either, you know. Well, the Bugera seems to fit that so well. Wow, totally impressed. Hmm. So I don't think I'm going to be selling this amp. Uh, I'll put it in my keep list. And well, probably, I haven't had it long enough for it to be my favorite amp. You know. But just the simplicity of it and the sound quality makes it a real contender. I hate to say it, but it's true. You know? There you go. So if you're not, you know, needing a 100-watt head, you know, playing in some, you know, metal band or something, this little Bugera V5 is really nice. I wonder if... Uh, a lot of jazz players would like it, you know, it definitely can do that, clean sound, I mean, and I mean, it can do everything from Chinese cleans to jazz-like cleans and everything in between, hmm. and it looks great, by the way, you know, I really like it, wow. And I tell you what, I had uh, had it sitting around for a while thinking, man, why did I buy this? And now I know why, you know. Same thing with the V22 combo. I had it sitting around and I was thinking, man, I don't know, why, why did I buy this? So I plugged it in and actually played through it and went, oh my, <laughs> it's freaking awesome. You know. Uh, anyway. If you get a chance, I highly recommend that you try one of these. Uh, especially for the clean sound. I can't vouch for it for a distortion sound. But obviously it takes pedals well as well. So I suppose you could run a distortion pedal through it. You know, I don't know. Alright, I wanted to show you that. And I'm really impressed by it, especially for a 5 watt amp. Um, yeah, I've tried other 5 watt heads and either I pushed them too hard where they were distorting or couldn't get a really nice clean sound out of them. Uh, this is the exception. 
Alright, very good. See you next time.